Well, it's that sound again. It's time for Dirty Deeds, and this time, it's Julian Jerome's edition. Now, not all mobsters are bad boys all the time. Heck, Julian Jerome was a good boy publisher for nearly a year, but sadly, he slicked back his hair and dove back in. So, that's why it's time for Julian's Dirty Deeds. Of course, we will start with hits and misses, since Julian has a high body count for his short stint. His first confirmed kill was his own sister, the other one, Olivia. He also killed Jonathan Paget before he was presumed dead and got some killer plastic surgery. And be sure to correct me on that name since that was before I was born. Julian came back with a vengeance and a new identity, but that didn't stop him from killing his henchman, Vince. And he shot another one of his boys, Mickey Diamond, as well as my favorite mobster, Johnny Sakara. He didn't always pull this trigger himself either. He ordered his number two, Carlos Rivera, to kill Morgan Corinthos and Duke Lavery, but only Duke was successful. He then went on to kill Carlos himself, but technically that was with a knife. This one was used by Hel the, the actually the one that was used by Helena to murder Alexis' mother, I might add. That's just dark, man. Oh, but Julian is a mobster, of course, so he's no stranger to petty crime. That brings us to his misdemeanors. When he came back to Port Charles, he was operating an illegal gambling ring that Morgan Corinthos was a victim of. He also had his henchmen ransack the Corinthos coffee and imported and distributed illegal drugs. He was also part of the horrible fluke storyline, as well as framing Rick Lansing. And of course, the most recent thing he's done, he destroyed evidence that linked him to Carlos Rivera's murder. Ouch. But sadly, that is it for Julian's dirty deeds. While they're stacked up in short amount of time, his list isn't that long, especially for a mobster. But be sure to follow me at L-A-C-R-E-T-I-A-L-Y-O-N anywhere on the internet since there is only one. And watch the GH Report every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. PST right here on AfterBuzz TV.